In this video, you will learn the basic rules of basketball. Basketball is played on a rectangular court, which is 22 to 28 meters long and 13 to 15 meters wide. At each end of the court, there is a 45 centimeter wide hoop fixed on a panel suspended 3.05 meters above the ground, the basket. Two teams of five players compete over four quarters of 10 minutes each. A 15 minute halftime takes place between the second and the third quarter. The objective of both teams is to put the ball through the opponent's hoop to score as many points as possible. A scored shot, called a field goal, is worth two points, or three if the player has thrown the ball from outside the three-point arc. The team with the highest score at the end of play wins the game. In case of a tie, the teams play five-minute rounds in overtime until one team wins. The edge of the key and are worth one point. The key, also called free throw lane, is the rectangular area drawn beneath both hoops. At each timeout, the coach may make substitutions. There is no limit to the number of players that can be substituted. In this video, you will learn how to avoid committing fouls in basketball. Penalties for a foul can be a turnover or one or more free throws. In basketball, there are two types of fouls, personal fouls and fouls related to unsporting behavior. First, personal fouls. Any violation committed when a player blocks, holds, pushes, charges or grabs an opponent is counted as a personal foul. In defense, to avoid committing a foul, you have to block your opponent with a chest and stance. The defender can move backwards or to the sides but cannot deliberately run at the opponent to make contact. Any contact with the arms, shoulders, hips, or knees can lead to a defensive foul and a penalty. While in possession of the ball, player in attack can be sanctioned for charging if they try to push past the defender already in position. As a general rule, it is the player defending or attacking who approaches the opponent who is penalized for committing a foul. If a player commits five fouls, they are excluded from the game. When a foul is called, if the player isn't in the process of shooting, the ball is turned over to the other team. However, if the player is shooting at the basket when the foul is called, they will be granted free throws. There are two possible cases. If the shot misses, the player is granted two or three free throws depending on the value of the attempted shot. If the shot is scored, the points are granted and the player is granted one free throw. If a team commits four fouls during the same quarter, each new foul will be penalized by two free throws. Secondly, fouls related to unsporting behavior. If a player is making rough or excessive contact, the referee can call a foul for unsporting behavior. If a player commits two of these fouls during a game, they will be sent off for the rest of the game. The referee can also call a technical foul. In case of illegal gamesmanship or dispute, for instance, or can directly exclude a player for an unsporting gesture that is clearly deliberate. All of these fouls are penalized with one or more free throws, followed by a turnover for the opponent. During games, be careful to avoid committing fouls as there can be heavy penalties for your team. Over to you.